Of all the books in the Bible, none has fired our imagination more than Apocalypse, the book of Revelation to John. On the Greek Isle of Patmos, Apostle John has visions of angels, beasts, the throne of God, surrounded by the rainbow and the sea of glass, lamb who turns into the conqueror on the white horse, dragons etc etc. These verbal images do resemble those from the medieval astronomical and astrological maps. Look at the ancient sky map painted by Great Albrecht Dürer. Astrology was an essential part of life in 14th-16th centuries. Therefore the Apocalypse prophecy edited and printed during this time contains medieval astronomical and astrological images. The astronomical interpretation of verbal images of Apocalypse yields the following horoscope of planets in the constellations. Planet Jupiter in Sagittarius. Planet Saturn in Scorpio. Planet Venus in Lion. Planet Mars in Gemini. Close to Taurus, under the feet of Perseus. Planet Mercury in Balance. Sun in Virgin, Moon under Virgin's feet. The tradition says the Apocalypse was written in 95 AD by Apostle John. The Apocalypse we know today is the last book of the New Testament. First complete New Testament was edited only in 1515 inches Basel, Switzerland by Erasmus of Rotterdam on the basis of half a dozen of sources. The text of the Apocalypse comes from the manuscript Erasmus lent from the German biblical scholar Rucklin. The only moment in time when the combination of planets and constellations described in the Apocalypse could have been observed live from the island of Patmos was from the 25th of September 1486 to 10th of October 1486. So, when was the Apocalypse, Book of Revelation to Apostle John written? Is it possible that ancient Rome, Greece and Egypt were invented during Renaissance? Can it be that Jesus Christ was born in 1053 AD and crucified in 1086 AD? History, fiction or science? Describes how the contemporary chronological scale was created and by whom? With the culprits named as the 16th-17th century clergy, The well-known model of history has enjoyed the relentless attention of prominent critics ever since its creation including respected people like Sir Isaac Newton and Jean Hardouin, the court librarian of Louis XIV, the Sun King of France. Roman and Egyptian chronology take a good beating. Paggio Bracciolini and Petrarch take the blame for creating the beautiful legend of a mythical classical age that never was. The biblical events are brought a lot closer to us both historically and geographically. The biblical Jerusalem is actually the medieval city of Constantinople. The New and the Old Testament swap their positions in chronological order and are shown to refer to medieval events. Using astronomy and statistics to back his theories, Fomenko delivers an abundant astronomical proof showing that the identified dates of ancient eclipses are blatantly untrue. Fomenko explains the confusion between the antiquity and the Middle Ages, and how the division between the two is merely imaginary. The book contains in-depth descriptions of the research methods used as well as the most meticulous rendition of the global chronological map with its numerous errors and glitches explained in a very level-headed manner. One doesn't have to be a mathematician to comprehend Fomenko's presentation. History, fiction or science? Transforms history from fiction into a rocket science. It is a must-read for everyone who isn't entirely indifferent to human history and possibly also for those who are.
This book will change your entire perception of history forever. What if ancient Rome, Greece and Egypt were invented during the Renaissance? What if the Old Testament was a rendition of events in the Middle Ages? What if Jesus Christ was born in 1053 and crucified in 1086 AD? Sounds unbelievable? Not after you've read History, Fictional Science by Anatoly Fomenko, the leading mathematician of our time.